So let's do question number 65. A certain amount was distributed among X, Y and Z, three people. And the question is who received the least amount. So we need to find out of three people which one or which person received the, the smallest amount. And followed by two statements. So I'm going to start with, um, so it's actually a value-based question. You need to find out out of the three of them uh, who received the least amount. Okay, You need to find a unique value or unique uh, answer here. If you're getting a multiple answer, that means it's not sufficient. So I'm going to start with statement one here. I'm going to form an equation out of this. Okay, X received 4 by 5 times of what Y and Z together received. So I'm going to assume that the amount received by X, let it be X itself, also amount received by Y is Y and Z is also Z. I'm using the same variable and I'm forming an equation. So the equation you can form from statement 1 is X is equal to 4 by 5 times Y plus Z. Okay. You have a single equation and there are three variables. My question is, do you think this is enough using this equation? Do you think it's enough to or is it sufficient to find which of the three variable is going to be the least amount? Do you think, is it sufficient to find it? No, it's not sufficient, right? From this statement, it's not sufficient to find out of three variables which one is small. It's not enough. I'm going to give a simple example. Let's say I'm, I'm picking a value for y, okay? I'm picking a value of y as 1, 4. And z as 1. So I'm picking 4 and 1 so that the sum is equal to a multiple of 5. So it's easy for you to uh, cancel and uh, simplify it. For that reason, I selected y is 4 and z is 1. It's just random values. So I'm using a picking number strategy to prove that it is not sufficient to get uh, like out of the three variables, which one is having the least value. That's what I'm going to prove. So in this case, value of x is going to be equal to 4 by 5 times 5, which is 4. And this is the value of uh, y and this is the value of z. So out of this, who received the least amount? The least amount is received by z, which is 1. Least amount received is z. So do you think that this is going to be true in all scenario? Can you think about a different scenario where someone else will receive a least amount? Yes, you can, right? See why? See, it's sum is equal to 5. Sum, I'm thinking about a multiple of 5, right? What if if I flip the, the values I've substituted for? Let's say I'm substituting y as 1 and z as 4. That's it. So x is going to be the same result, right? x will be the 4 itself. Because 4 by times, uh, 4 by 5 times the sum which is the same 5, we eventually end up in 4. So in this case, the value of x is 4, the value of y is 1, and z is equal to 4. Now can you tell me which one is having the least amount? Y is having the least amount. See? Now I'm asking yourself, like, you know, is, it, is this uh, statement sufficient to get a unique answer? No. In first case, you got z is having the least amount. In the second case, you are getting y is having the least amount. There is no consistency. For that reason, I could say statement 1 alone is not sufficient. And also keep in mind, you don't need to plug in these values here. So I just uh, use these examples to show that it is not sufficient to answer it. Okay? So you, sh you should be able to figure out by yourself. In scenario in such cases, maybe you can use an, if you are not able to 100% convince yourself, then you can pick a numbers and uh, cross check. So, statement 1 alone is not sufficient. What about statement 2 alone? Statement 2 is similar. See, y is equal to 2 by 7 times x plus z. Okay, y received 2 by 7 of what x plus z received. Again, I'm, I'm using the same example. See, you can pick a value for x and y. And then you flip it. It's gonna, never going to change. You will not be able to figure out, you know, which one is going to have the least amount. For that reason, statement 2 is also not sufficient. So you don't need to uh, pick a number here because it's going to be the same logic we're going to use it here. Okay. So statement 2 is also not sufficient. So at this stage, option A is eliminated. 
that means question can be answered by using one of the statement alone but not uh, but cannot be answered using other statement alone so that is not true because each statement alone is not possible to solve it option b also not possible okay two options eliminated now at this stage what you need to do is you need to combine it okay you need to combine and see whether you are able to get a unique answer so what i'm going to do is let's i'm just forming the equation here and i'm trying to simplify it further okay x is equal to 4 by 5 times uh, y plus z and from statement 2 i are getting y is equal to 2 by 7 times x plus z okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the bracket and simplify it i'm multiplying by 5 on both sides so i have 5x is equal to 4y plus 4z okay 4y plus 4 is it here also if i open the bracket you have 7y is equal to 2x plus 2 is it so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply this equation on both sides by 2 which is 14y z equal to 4x plus 4 is it why i'm doing like this is very simple because i'm going to use substitution here okay instead of 4 is it i'm going to substitute this value which is 4 z is equal to 14 y minus 4 x so what i'm going to do is i'm going to combine that 5 x is equal to 4 y plus uh, 14 y minus 4 x combining the like terms so you have bringing x to the other side you have 9 x is equal to 18 y or you can say x is equal to 2 y so clearly I can say that comparing x and y, definitely x is greater. Okay, because x is double the value of y. So the answer is which of the following receives the least amount. So x, y, and z. These are the three potential answers. Out of this, x is not going to be your answer. Because x is double the value of y. So now what we need to check is out of the two options left, y and z, I need to compare and figure out which one is the smallest. Okay. I need to compare these two. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you can, like I'm using this equation, okay, which is more easy. And instead of x, what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute uh, 2y. So that I'm bringing this equation in terms of two variables, y and z, okay. Instead of x, I'm substituting 2y. So it's going to be 10y z equal to 4y plus uh, 4z right which is nothing but 6y is equal to 4 is it or i could say y is equal to 4 by 6 or 2 by 3 is it so when you compare y and is it it's given that y is two third two by third three times is it or i could say y is smaller than is it correct so i can clearly say that out of these three variables y is gonna be the smallest or the least because y is 2 by 3 times z, smaller than z. So your answer is y. So that means if you combine both the statements, it is possible to find a unique value for the answer. For that reason, your answer is option C is the right answer for this question, option C. So what we are doing here is we're going to simplify both the equations and we're going to compare the three variables.